Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another video of Invader series. Uh, today we'll be looking at a real professional game. Uh, this is actually a very famous game uh, played between uh, Masaki and uh, Masaki from Japan uh, as black player and Nie Weiping from, uh, from China uh, as white. Uh, Masaki uh, is definitely the I'd say the best Moyo uh, player in the history of Go, right? He's, he's very known for that. Uh, and um, the white player, Nie Weiping, is also a legend. Uh, he's a, a national hero uh, in China because of, I guess, because of how good he's, uh, his Go skills are. Um, and uh, so this, this, is actually, this is actually a very historical and very important game. Uh, and both players were super deadly serious. Uh, and uh, today we'll be looking at their game and the, the invasion that happened uh, in their game uh, just just to learn uh, some stuff. So the next move, uh, Masaki played um, the R16, that is to uh, try to basically enclose everything, right? The side over here, the side over here, and then as well as the corner over here. So. Uh, very ambitious move and now it's time for us to uh, invade so in the game uh, white decides to invade at n uh, 13 so uh, we're not going to go through the thought process of what is the invasion point rather we'll be looking mostly at the tactics so this move is aiming at the you know there are a couple follow-ups uh, there's n16 uh, there's obviously hopping in and then there's obviously the uh, running out. So there are a lot of things that this move is aiming at. Um, black now uh, is kind of in trouble, uh, but black played a very nice move that is to uh, play N15. That fixes uh, the invasion on top, uh, but in the meantime also putting max pressure on white's N, um, N13 stone. Uh, so uh, today we'll be mostly focusing on uh, the situation right now because I, I think for my viewers this is where you would have most problems uh, this is where it, it the game gets most difficult for you like what do you do uh, when black plays like this so a lot of my viewers may just uh, well let's let's just run uh, but in fact this is not a great move because black can now attach uh, and this is very difficult for white. If white tries to break in, uh, well, white pretty much has to break in. Uh, black has this kind of variations. Uh, so white is kind of in trouble. If white connects, obviously we know that black will pull the stone out. Uh, and then this, there's nothing going on uh, in here. So, but if white takes, then obviously the other one, uh, black can cut white off. Um, and uh, how is white going to... Um, how's gonna white gonna deal with this? There's a code going on, uh, but it's it looks very difficult. If you try to hop down, um, black and fix the outside, uh, and it takes a lot of skills to live here. So, uh, so these are more or less dangerous ideas uh, for white. Um, and this is at this point is already awkward, right? Like white wants to break into the territory. Uh, but breaking in involves a lot of risks, and that's where uh, I think a lot of you might just um, fall behind or even get killed. So, so in the actual game, um, this is not any easier for uh, the white player, uh, even if he's uh, the most famous professional. Uh, he still had to um, <clears throat> he still had to jump in because this is too big uh, to. Uh, become a black's territory. So after this jump, um, black did not actually attach at M13, which I think it's a move that would give you guys most problems. Um, in the actual game, black just attached here, um, but um, that's for a very, very deep reason. Um, but today we'll be mostly looking at, well, what if black attaches at M13, right? This is a very scary move. Uh, how do we uh, break out of here? So if white just uh, tried this kind of stuff, uh, this is not going to work very well because now as we can see, everything here uh, is uh, pretty much black's territory. Uh, so 
that is pretty much a difficult game for for white moving on so white cannot accept that but there's no you know the, the fact that white cannot break out pretty much means white's gonna be sealed inside uh, but as I mentioned if we just play uh, the nice looking move uh, things are not gonna go uh, very well because um, black has ways to get rid of white's eye space uh, and how confident are we about you know making this group alive it is very difficult for white so uh, today we'll be uh, mostly looking at this kind of tough situations right like you got like I'm pretty sure I get I get into this kind of stuff a lot in my games I'm pretty sure you guys feel the same uh, we just get sealed inside uh, we have no ways to counter attack we just don't seem ha to have like a way to uh, to breathe or or to make a life uh, just feels like death to us right how do we deal with this kind of difficult situation um, so so the first thing uh, that, that you should have in your mind is always uh, counter attack right uh, no matter no matter circumstances right like a counter attack is the first thing that comes to your mind uh, you have to at least think about counter attacking uh, even if it's not working, I know a lot of times it's not working, uh, mostly because maybe you made your invasion really late, uh, maybe it's just a losing game, that happens. Uh, but the first thing, if you want to level up in a game of Go, you have to think about counterattack, right? Not just run for your life. If you just run for your life, the more you try this kind of stuff, uh, the less it's going to work out. Like, block, just get, get rid of your eye space. It's so easy to get rid of your eye space. Uh, and uh, and what can you do here, right? Like the more you try to run, hey, look, the more you try to do this, uh, the less likely uh, you are gonna you're gonna get what you want. Uh, so uh, the best idea is to say, hey, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to get what I want. Uh, let me first uh, exploit your weakness, uh, in and uh, help help myself uh, survive. With your weakness so the first move that I recommend to you guys uh, is to uh, play the peep uh, at p9 so we're not too worried about our stones over here rather uh, we focus first on our opponent's weakness now we can see that this group cannot be sacrificed by black right this is way too big if ever black gets cut off on this on this line uh, this is not gonna work out like the loss over here is totally compensated um, by the gain white gain makes here. So uh, a good move for black to play is to just connect here. So um, that is pretty much forced. And now um, white can make use of the stone. Now we have exploited our opponent's weakness. Instead of running by ourselves, now white has a excellent way uh, to start exploiting uh, this uh, breaking point, right? We can see there's a breaking point here because black has a uh, problem in a formation, uh, and this is the weakest point. We're obviously not trying to break out the, at the, towards this direction because look, black has these two guys sitting just there, right, waiting for us. So that's not a good idea. So once we know our direction of play, uh, we're gonna follow it with uh, some good moves. So um, here, uh, white can go ahead and start trying to break out. Black obviously has to uh, seal this, uh, and white can now just honey. Uh, and and that now, as we can see, thanks to our P9 stone, now this is very difficult uh, for black to deal with. There's, a, there's obviously a, a breaking point, so uh, if black seals, we can Atari, and then Atari again. Uh, well, black cannot run because this gets laddered. Uh, so what black is going to do is probably uh, try something like this, right? So try something like a co. Uh, but this obviously is a, a fairly difficult co uh, for black. Uh, here, even if black fights this co, uh, this is not too much of a deal if it's not a it's not a big deal if if white actually loses a co uh, white now has a very nice co threat that's just to extend down 
uh, this is a co-thread because threatens to live here. If black connects, uh, black white uh, is going to be able to uh, basically play a knight's move first. Uh, there is some uh, there are some weaknesses over here, um, and uh, right if this happens, uh, white is going to uh, live very easily here. Uh, and uh, what's the biggest problem is that uh, black might end up dying here after all this uh, skirmish. So, so that's the point, right? Like there is a co, uh, but but white is not too um, too worried, right? So if we we rush, right? A lot of players would just uh, just go ahead. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna rush because I'm scared. I don't want to lose my group. Well, this becomes a real co because uh, anytime black connects, everything here is gonna die, uh, and this is actually difficult. Uh, but if white thinks flexibly, white Atari is from here and says, you know what? Whatever happens here, I don't really care, right? All what I want is just to extend. Now I can uh, threaten to make myself alive in here uh, while fighting this co. Uh, so now white has a lot of co threats. Every move is pretty much a co threat um, for for black, right? If black tries to kill here, we can well play this co. Um, you know, uh, I don't know. Black goes for a co threat. We respond, and then black takes back. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna play another one. Whenever you connect, uh, I'm going to uh, come down here and then uh, and then make myself alive. And always remember, sir, you have this huge dragon that is not alive. So uh, this is an excellent strategy uh, for white to play on. So this is a, a pretty much a winning game uh, if black insists on attacking white, right? So um, so this is our definitely our first uh, lesson uh, from this uh, from this game. That is for you guys to always look at your opponent's weakness, right? It. It definitely does not cover all the tactics in invasion. Uh, a lot of those tactics are pretty uh, probably beyond my level, uh, but I think the idea that I can offer you guys is uh, when we are in danger, uh, the first thing we need to think about is well, is our opponent also in danger, right? We cannot just uh, neglect uh, all these weaknesses that uh, that black has in in the formation. Uh, that's the best way. Uh, for us to actually uh, get out. That's actually the best way to, for us to um, deal with our invasion stones, right? A lot of the times. So a very, very important idea, right? So let's take a look again. Uh, we peep here, forcing black to connect. And then we exploit this weakness by bumping and then honey. Uh, and when black uh, goes for this type of stuff, I uh, here realize that uh, connecting is probably not a good idea because uh, maybe black can uh, go for this kind of crazy fight. But even like this, uh, this is this is still um, this is still chaotic. I, I don't know what's going on. So uh, likely this is a black gets out like this, and uh, and white takes this. So so actually uh, even this is not going to work for uh, for black. Uh, but, but tactically, uh, white can also take, uh, there's no problem, uh, go for this kind of variation, uh, white has no problems either. Uh, but the important idea is that at this point, uh, we can already see uh, trying to um, trying to seal white be has become impossible uh, thanks to our brilliant idea of counterattack, right? We first counterattack and then we deal with our weaknesses. Uh, I think that's the most important idea or the take home message uh, for you guys uh, from um, uh, part one of today's lesson. So uh, there's also another moment that I really want to mention uh, here. Uh, that is, so after after this, Black realized that, you know, going directly for the brutal, uh, <laughs> the brutal move, uh, try to seal white is not possible, given that white is such a, a legendary player uh, trying to you know uh, force a kill is uh, unrealistic so black decide to um, you know just play elsewhere strengthen the weakness here 
Uh, white obviously does not want to answer this move because uh, then this attach becomes a real problem. So uh, in the actual game, white decides to just run out. Um, now, as we can see, everything in here has been uh, destroyed. Um, so the game keeps going. Uh, black exchanged uh, this move. And then uh, the next thing black did uh, was this traditional, well, this was played a long time ago. So this traditional moves, uh, white takes this move and then black uh, strengthens uh, this dragon to make sure everything is fine. And now we are at the, uh, I think at the second uh, part of our invasion uh, video. We obviously as white, we want to do something about, you know, what's going on here, right? The side has become really huge uh, and we need to do something about it, right? So, um, so what is a good invasion plan? You guys can actually pause the video uh, and uh, think about a good invasion point uh, on top. And when you come back, uh, let's go through some uh, thought process right now. So, so if you just tell me, hey, I want to, you know, just play this one. Uh, I have no problem with this move. Um, I think it's it's good. Uh, maybe white would, would be a little bit worried about, you know, black just get himself cut into halves and then deal with each one. Uh, this is probably a good uh, idea for black, right? Uh, so uh, this invasion is okay, um, but there might be a um, better one uh, in the eyes of human players. Um, so I think, um, I think I'll just reveal the answer uh, that is for white to play uh, M17. So if you recall from last lesson, uh, I, I mentioned that we should find the move that gives you mo most possibilities. Well, it turns out that um, M17 is a great move that gives a lot of possibilities for white. Uh, one is obviously this Kema. Uh, the other one is a two space extension. Uh, at P17, very good move. And then we also have this breaking out idea uh, at M15. Had you played somewhere else, uh, let's say, for example, uh, you decide to uh, play here. Well, obviously, this is not as great because uh, when black uh, seals this side, uh, running towards this side uh, is very, very difficult because black has stones waiting for, uh, pretty much waiting for you here. So, uh, so choosing the correct point uh, of invasion uh, is very, very important uh, in this in this situation. So in the actual game, uh, white played M17, and uh, black follows up with a kick. Um, this puts max pressure onto white. White extends and the black blocks. And now white plays the two space extension, right? So black was able to fix both weakness, but the last one, that is P17, uh, was taken uh, by white. And that's good enough for white because that that is this move is good enough for uh, to, to make the invasion live. So black uh, follows up with uh, sealing the top because otherwise there is obviously some weaknesses over here. Um, so what black did is to push on top and now the next move is very important, right? So very important for us to increase our eye space by playing Q18. And then, uh, when black blocks the corner, because otherwise, if you, if you just try to, um, if you just try to play this kind of moves, um, and, and if you try to, uh, basically play this way, um, I think. Uh, I think this is uh, this is already alive for for white even even just like this All right so uh, this is pretty much uh, alive for white uh, and and later on black probably has has some weaknesses to worry about so so it's uh, very important for black to uh, block the corner because otherwise there's like going to be an extra eye and now look at how white makes a lie first. Uh, getting get get the sente. Uh, black has to block, and then uh, black white makes another sente, and then there is obviously a breaking point uh, that black has to fix. 
black connects and then uh, white plays O18 uh, that makes the group uh, clean alive, right? This is a very, very clean way to live. Uh, absolutely no problem uh, in here uh, because there's an eye over here and then there's obviously an eye around here. So uh, very, very clean, uh, very, uh, and, and the variation is pretty much forced and white was able to make use of every weakness uh, and just live uh, with max efficiency. So very, very well played uh, by white. And then and the reason that white was able to live so comfortably uh, was because the point of entry, right? It was the, the invasion choice uh, that was uh, was so good uh, that, you know, that living afterwards has become uh, very, very easy uh, for white. So let's re examine again. Uh, we choose M17 uh, because give us all the possibilities. Uh, that's why you need to spend time in your games to find this type of moves. Um, and uh, and then when uh, black makes a defense, uh, we make the two space extension, uh, you know, maximizing our eye space. Black has to seal the top. Then we play the Kosumi, uh, threatening to go to the corner. Black prevents that. Uh, we make a sente move and then another sente move, very comfortable moves. Uh, there's a, absolutely, uh, there's, a, there's a great weakness going on here. So black connects and then white finally uh, play the O18. Uh, that is the best fix uh, for, um, for this shape. Well, obviously there is some life and death knowledge. Uh, if white plays this one, uh, black is able to uh, Atari and then descend. Uh, white has to Atari this uh, and descend here, uh, but this makes this is also a life. So uh, stay assured if you play this one, uh, white's gonna have a Tasuji to live, uh, but uh, it's because black cannot go in, right? So, um, but this makes black's J18 Asente, uh, which makes this group a lot stronger. Uh, so. So black lived in an optimal way, right? So not only we live, but also we uh, give us, uh, we give uh, our opponent uh, the minimum uh, utility, uh, the minimum use or Aji. Uh, so the best move is play O18. Very, very nice, uh, nicely chosen move uh, as well. So at this point, uh, after two invasions, we can see that there is really no moyo going on uh, on the board. Uh, black is is cut into pieces because of our excellent invasions, um, and and white is leading in this game, and white eventually won the game thanks to two excellent invasions. All right, so I hope you guys liked the video, and don't forget to uh, click on like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't for more invasion videos like this. Uh, for now, thank you very much for watching. Talk to you guys next time.